Hey there. I uh, just got back from Costco and I picked up something amazing. My father sent me a, uh, a Visa gift card and I was able to use it today it, to get uh, what I think is uh, an incredible, incredible uh, thing for my collection. And if you don't have it, it's a $19.99 at Costco. Uh, it's getting close to Christmas. Not sure if you can afford it or not, but if you can, head down to Costco. Definitely pick these up. Um, what a lot of people watch my channel, I'm not sure if they're aware of, I talk about a lot of different genres and things in my channel, I talk about horror a lot, I talk about slashers a lot, which I'm an unabashed fan for, and I talk about uh, Disney, well I talk about a lot of stuff, but my favorite genre, and I'm not sure if it's been a, if I've talked about that, about what it is or not, but my favorite genre is film noir, it's uh, what I, what first influenced me, it, were the, it was the directors and the, that uh, influenced me at the time, it's what got me into the Criterion's in the first place, and uh, a while back I picked up this set here, the uh, Collector's Choice Samuel Fuller Collection. And for me, so far, this has pretty much been the, uh, although I want to grab the Criterion uh, Samuel Fuller films, this has been the uh, the one for me for uh, to, for Samuel Fuller to, to really get a, a, a wide like grasp on some of the stuff that he does. Now, I picked up two more Collector's Choice today, and uh, I'm extremely excited. You, I cannot kind of, I don't exactly know how to tell you how excited I am about having these in my collection. These are uh, films, especially one in particular, was one that I wanted for a long, long time. And, uh, 1999. I just can't believe it. These are sets. And the first one, it's the uh, Columbia Pictures Film Noir Classics. Uh, and if you like film noir, uh, if you've got any of those Warner Brothers film noir sets, uh, got to get this set. Uh, it's incredible. We have uh, The Sniper by Edward uh, Dimitrik and it's a great film. Stars uh, uh, oh God, uh, Marie Windsor's in this one. This one, Arthur Franz is in this. Gerald Moore. It's, uh, it's an incredible film about a, uh, about a, a psychopath that uh, it's one of the earliest like basic studies of, of a psychopath, basically who kills randomly, no motive at all, which makes it extremely hard for the, uh, for the police officers, for the psychiatr for a psychiatrist, to actually kind of figure out uh, how to catch him because, because, of, because of his insanity, because of it's, it's so random. It's uh, post-traumatic stress, just an incredible film. The one that I, that I would have bought the set before, and I would have bought this actually at eighty or ninety dollars, which is what this, these sets used to be. Uh, was the Big Heat, the Big Heat with by Fritz Lang, and, I, and every film fan knows Fritz Lang and has more than likely has something of his in their collection. This film here was the first film noir that I ever saw, and uh, it stars Glenn Ford, uh, who actually was my father's name after. So it's kind of cool that uh, this was my a gift from my dad, uh, Glory Graham is in this one as well, and uh, Lee Marvin, I think this may be his, fir his first, or one of his first films, I know Jeanette Nolan is in this as well, in an early role, and it's an incredible film. Uh, Glenn Ford is basically a, he's a good guy, he's a cop, he's a, he's a good husband, and something happens to him that uh, pushes him past the brink, and uh, what he does in his grief to uh for vengeance and who he sacrifices to do it and uh it's just an incredible film watch for uh if you're a, an adams family fan uh watch for young carolyn jones this is uh, one of her first roles in this so uh she's in this film as well uh five against the house is a great uh heist film uh stars kim novak it's directed by phil carlson and we got other, you know, we got great actors in this as well. William Conrad, Corinne Matthews. I uh, just so many really, uh, you know, Brian Keith is in this one here as well. Guy Madison. Uh, basically, it's, uh, starts out kind of like, uh, five kind of Korean War vets are going to do a, do this heist fixing. It's going to be very light, very kind of just a fun time for these guys here. It's, uh, they're not taking it too seriously. Unfortunately, one of them has not come back from Korea in the way that the, that the others have, and there's, this is where things start to spiral downward. They do not realize exactly how damaged this guy is. It's an incredible film. It's a great film by Phil Carlson. If you haven't seen Five Against the House, I strongly recommend it. 
Uh, the next one is the Line Up with Don Siegel. I don't think I've got to tell anybody who Don Siegel is, uh, especially if you're a Clint Eastwood fan. Uh, Don Siegel does some great stuff. Eli Wallach, uh, a regular in the John Don Siegel films, actually stars in this one here. We got Robert Keith, we got Warner Anderson. Uh, the lineup. I got to read the description for this because it's actually a, a very interesting, a very unique film. It's a uh, double narrative follows the criminals involved in a dope smuggling scheme, and the police who follow their trail of violence and death across the city of San Francisco. A incredible filmmaking, brilliant use of space and architecture. Uh, the film features a wildly disorienting car chase culminates on the then unfinished Imbicardo Freeway, literally a road going nowhere. Don Siegel directs Eli Wallach as a cold-blooded hitman and Warner Anderson and Emile Meyer as the cops hunting him down. Richard Jekyll and Robert Keith co-star in this film. It's an incredible film. Uh, the fifth film on this set, on this set is by Ir Irving Lerner and uh, Irving Lerner is an amazing director and it's Murder by Contract. Uh, Murder by Contract uh, stars Vince Edwards, and uh, I think Vince Edwards worked with Lerner in a few films. Uh, basically, this is a film about a um, an assassin who's uh, basically supposed to uh, well, he's supposed to get this girl who's got to testify against the mob, but it's not going to be as easy as a uh, as he thinks. This is an incredible film. You just have to. See it yourself. We'll open this up and see what we got. Incredible picture of uh, Glenn Ford there, an amazing actor, so underrated. Superman's dad, guys. Uh, <laughs> in uh, the original 1970s Superman. Uh, film art classics there. We have some great pictures of the from the films. This one here, I think, is. That's, and that's, that's not. I wonder if that's Sniper or Murder by Contract. I'm not quite sure. I think it's Murder by Contract right there. Uh, it opens up. Each film here gets its own disc. Uh, no double feature discs or anything like that here. There's not a lot of features, but the features that are on this set are extremely uh, well done. The, uh, there's two commentaries. Uh, both uh, highlight Eddie Muller, who is the uh, definitive uh, expert on, uh, on film noir. So uh, if you look for a commentary on film noir movies, you look for the Eddie Muller name because you know it's going to be quality packed with information. James Elroy, of course, the uh, noted author, also w comes on here with uh, on one of the commentaries with, with Muller as well. We've got interviews with Nolan, uh, Scorsese, and Michael Mann on the set. Just some uh, really cool stuff. Next up, I picked up the Film Noir Classics uh, Volume 2 set. It's hard to get one of these in good condition. It's kind of like speed around a bit. <clears throat> but uh, great films. Uh, again, we uh, start off with the Fritz Lang film, so you know you're getting quality right out of the Bad and it's the film uh, Human Desire. Of course, this is a remake of the Renoir film The Bet You Made. And uh, if you have that Criterion film in your collection, you owe it to yourself to get this Fritz Lang film. We all know there's not one of us that's looking at this channel that probably doesn't know uh, uh, the importance of Fritz Lang in cinema. And if you uh, if you're new to Fritz Lang, then uh, you know that's great too. You've got a great great director to uh, discover. Uh, again, Glenn Ford and. Uh, Gloria Graham are brought together again. Uh, they were uh, last seen, of course, in Big Heat. Uh, you know, Broderick Crawford is in this one as well. And this was based on a, a novel by Emile uh, Zola, and it's a it's a great film. Again, uh, a lot of these film lords done back in the time of uh, basically Glenn Ford plays a Korean uh, war vet. Uh, don't they all back in, the, in these uh, in these films are all war vets, and it's all Korea because that was the uh, one of the time. Turns to a job as a railroad engineer, quickly succumbs to his boss's wife. And we know that doesn't turn out well for them. Uh, the, begins a tangled web of suspicion, sex, and murder involving uh, Vicky, played by Gloria, Gloria Graham, and her brutish husband, Carl, played by Broderick Crawford. Uh, amazing film. Human Desire evokes a powerful emotional landscape of envy, greed, lust, and violent anger. It's an amazing film. Next up, we got Pushover, and if you uh, are a fan of uh, the film... Uh, which is going to elude me right now. Just watch. Uh, no, Double Indemnity with Fred McMurray. Well, this is another Fred McMurray film noir. And uh, there we have him right here. Good. Great Fred McMurray. Yeah, of course, this one also stars Phil Carey, uh, Kim Novak. Again, we got Kim Novak in this. And Dorothy Malone. And uh, basically, it's uh, Fred McMurray plays a uh, kind of a, a duty-bound cop who has the stake of the apartment of this... Uh, of this girl who's the girlfriend of a murderous bank robber. Incredible film, you know, 
that, you know, Kim Novak, Dorothy Malone, uh, Coaster and E.J. E. Marshall, so uh, early E.J. Marshall role there. Uh, next up is The Brothers Rico. This is uh, normally considered one of the uh, underrated films in this set. And uh, it has uh, director, again, Phil Carlson working on this, who also worked on uh, Five Against the House, which is another brilliant film. Uh, this one here has uh, Richard Conte in it, Diane Foster, Catherine Grant, uh, James Darren's in this film as well. Uh, some really great stuff. And uh, it's about a guy named Eddie Rico that uh, he's out of the biz. He's no longer uh, no longer in the crime biz. He's retired from that. Gets a call in the middle of the night. Feels duty bound to go out and uh, do this one last favor. May not be the best decision he's ever made. Uh, next up we have uh, the movie Nightfall. A uh, great film uh, by, of course, the, one of the great directors of all time, is Jacques Trineau. Uh, if you're a horror fan, you probably know Jacques Trineau. Uh, and uh, this is a, just a, an amazing film. It's a, it's, a, it's a masterpiece. Anne Bancroft does it in this one. Otto Ray, Brian Keith. Just some great, great stuff. And uh, uh, it's the tale of, oh, I'll read on this here, the tale of an innocent man. Trapped in a senseless and lethal web of seduction and crime. The cinematography by noir specialist Burnett Gouffreau, who worked on the Human Desire and Brothers Rico, ranges from the elegant, shadowy, neon-lit city to a vast and borderless winter landscape. And uh, winter, directed by Turn winter landscape directed by Turneau, I am so there. Uh, w the winter-oriented films are something I really, really like. And uh, Turneau's direction... With uh, with Burnett Guffrey, that's that's going to be amazing. Uh, next up, we've got another Irving Lerner film, A City of Fear. City of Fear is, of course, the famous one. Vince Edwards again works with uh, Lerner in this one. Uh, we got a uh, John John Archer in here. Uh, just another incredible film. But if you've seen or you own the movie uh, uh, Kiss Me Deadly, for instance, or even like Repo Man, uh, basically uh, this is a bit of convict. He breaks out of prison with a canister, canister filled with white powder, which he thinks at the time is a uh, is, uh, heroin, basically a pure hunk of heroin. And he's so set, he's going to make a fortune, and uh, it's, uh, it's a white powder, all right, but it's, uh, it's a deadly radioactive substance. So uh, things take a, a different turn. Again, another great film. These are, you know, we'll open it up and look at this one again as well. We get the... Uh, Scenes from the films. Get a beautiful picture of Kim Novak. That's a classic film noir if there was. And again, five discs. A disc for each film. Uh, features on this one are actually less than the features on the first one. This is about a uh, interview with uh, Scorsese again. Another uh, talk with Christopher Nolan on some stuff. And a uh, talk with Emily Mortimer. Uh, some original theatrical trailers, as usual, like are on all these things. But again, guys, it's, if you got the chance to pick these up, Anytime soon, if you're a film noir fan, if you've been looking at my Criterion stuff and you've started your Criterion collection and you're wondering where to go from here, uh, here is where you go. Uh, film noir classics, volumes one and volume two. Uh, they are great, great sets. I am extremely excited when I saw these. I picked them up right away. Uh, basically, um, leaping with joy, and my better half thought that I was insane because she didn't know what the hell I was getting. But uh, by the end of this video, now she does. Incredible stuff, guys. If you got the chance to do it, pick them up. You won't regret it. You'll thank me for it. These are incredible films. These are things that you will watch and rewatch. And they're not just good films, but they are important films. It's stuff that we need to see more of. Uh, these are films that have to be saved. Films that I think have a, just a place in, in history. Just... And the thing is, they're they're just great films. That's film noir. I'm very passionate about film. Uh, you probably just noticed it and seen it from my videos. I'm very very passionate about film, and especially about uh, the battle of the older films. And uh, Blue Ray Anonymous, Logan Toxic, Faligar, TJ, and Ready, Chris. Gordon, gotta get him. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, for me right now, it is literally uh, time for tea.